All right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's just jump right into it. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Well, we're in the queue right now, so we might as well immediately jump over to... What do we do? Memes? Or do we look at some real estate that we'll never ever be able to afford? 38 million dollar mansion. In Bel Air, Los Angeles. That's nice. This looks like a rave zone. So Yo, so what? what Every time these fucking doors. Dieter van der Welpen. Look at me, I am Dieter van der Welpen. I built a 38 million dollar mansion. From the architecture all the way to the small details. The design of this home is a testament to how well thought out finishes and meticulous attention to detail can come together to create a space that not only Nobody can afford, but also feels warm and comfortable. The architectural lines natural. I mean, but also feels warm and comfortable. It doesn't look bad until you notice, okay, what, what, what's that over there? Is that the AC, like one of the AC units? Surely you could hide that a little bit better. Surely at $38 million, you would think about like hiding, hiding tubes like that, pipes or whatever. Architectural lines, natural stone selection, and the design palette of this home really sets itself apart from others. So without further ado, Welcome to Bel Air, and let's go have a look inside. Yo! And let's go have a look inside. A small child could fit through there and die. I guess this is probably not accessible. I love the rounded countertop there. How can he not fully hold exactly? The architecture of this home nice is garage. really unique. On the first floor, we have these vertical board form concrete bowls transitioning to the second floor. And on the second floor, you can see these beautiful vertical metal screens giving the house this stark feeling. <laughs> now, this house sits on a really wide lot. That's why we have a lot of street frontage. But the way this house is designed really gives a ton of privacy to the interior of the home. Ton now, of coming privacy. here, we All have right. this gate opening up to the cobblestone driveway. And this driveway leads us down to the subterranean garage, which we'll see later in the tour. I love the space. You can see the vertical board from concrete walls also here, partially covered section above 36 steel minutes. Beams, and this opening casts this beautiful light on the board from concrete wall. Okay, so here is that the kitchen? Here. Looks beautiful. Some open shelving above, paneled freezer and fridge. How are we watching energy secondary residence? It might as well be, it might as well be. Here, and the first door on my right hand side. Dude, it's rounded countertops to all the kitchen. way. This is an impressive space. You already have the main Oh, and this is like the, the chef's kitchen, right? You have a wolf gas stove, sink, another dishwasher. The countertops aren't as rounded anymore. Cabinetry, open shelving. That's fine because this is probably where you have your staff like preparing food for you, right? And yeah, it complements the main kitchen. Now, 
going back to the hallway, right on the other side, we have a full bathroom. Now you may ask why we have a full bathroom here because you have a door that opens up to the side of the property that leads you to the pool area. This is your pool bathroom. That's why we have a corner shower, beautiful vanity, and a toilet that opens up as you walk into the room. Now, continuing the hallway, door at the end opens up to the laundry room, two washers, two dryers. Really jiggly. Tree, I didn't know you had sink, that kind of pool. And the last door at the end of this hallway opens up to the first Can't bedroom. wait for the keys, first, man. I gotta say, chef's kitchen and the laundry room are very impressive. Um, this is not the biggest home, but those spaces, those it's been utility been in Q for five, almost six very, minutes. Very okay, I guess our starting game is going to be here, which could be a great mace interesting. quarters, another office. And what I like about this bedroom is the fact that you have a sliding glass door here, opening up to the side, opening up to the outdoor staircase. That way you can come in and out of this bedroom without having to go through the house. Comes with a full bathroom, travertine finishes. Ooh. Yep, that's what I thought. High view. Somebody want Abbasid. So we'll do that. Silver. Close. Close to silver. Oh, 1,100. Left knob. Thank you for the sub, man. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Abbasid mirror. Oh, do we do Abbotrade here? Like, trading is pretty damn good on, on high view. We could do Abbotrade. Good luck. Have fun. Good luck. Have fun. Oh, he's over there. Finding two sheep over there. That's nice. Five markets, boomer, no balls. You got it, man. Yes. No market here. Some markets on the other side, but there's a wolf over there. Could be slightly annoying with the wolf, but should be fine nonetheless. Petra, 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 da, da, da. It's an interesting wood line, actually. Pretty, pretty decent walling potential there. Right hand side. Line there is potentially even a bit annoying. Might be too much. Ah, you'll stay on food, actually. Actually, no. You can go on to you. On to that. Well, only need two more drop offs. We haven't found the most, most amount of food so far. Ooh, there's the market. Ah, that's that's actually a pretty big distance here. I guess this large stone outcropping there pushed it in a little bit. Not the best market then, not the best, not the best. But definitely very wallable. Holy, that is very, very wallable. Alright, there we go. It's time for us to check out what our opponent's doing now. <laughs> Alright, let's send the villager all the way over there. It's also going to be interesting now what our opponent's going for when it comes to his age up. Whether it's just gonna be eco wing, normal eco wing, or military wing. So we see his 
TC over there. Can we shimmy past that? Should be able to, I feel like. Oh, it is going to be military wing. Okay, okay. In that case, we'll actually need to make some units then. What units do we make? Just archers? Could just make archers. In the Age of Empires 4 gay game, the Order of the Dragon struggled fuck, their economy has stretched thin. Yet, they persevered booty, forging alliances, mastering strategies. Victory tasted sweeter with each hardcore current coin. Thank you, Corbinus. I need 50 food for that actually, okay. How much is that? 50 food. Let's not prioritize that. For time being. Alright, alright, good timing. I want to look for them now. Well, I guess I found them. And a horseman immediately as well. Let's just till they get over there. Get a lot of gold right now. Escaping somewhat. Oh, don't care about that one. If he has to go over, then it's pretty much close, right? We work on closing this side off, though. This is my good There it is. It 
Let's also get a camel rider in. Just like that, we're pretty much fully walled. There's his second TC. So now we have confirmation what he's going for. Get some upgrades in. Setting in more archers. Let's go for blacksmith. There now. It's annoying making me walk all the way over there. I should double layer this one. To be fair. No reason not to put a double layer on it. Yeah, it's not gonna go up in time. Oh no. Oh no no no. You're the worst. This guy's gonna die, isn't he? Oh no, he survives. Barely. Oh, jeez, he survived. Poggers. Did not expect that one to survive. I'll admit. Okay, we won't decide in again. Let's just also double layer this side here. He's going over on this side, but we already have villagers here, so this is an easy one to walk quickly. Let's double layer this one as well. Okay, he's got archers here. How many spears? Four spearmen. That is not something that I can't deal with. Uh, somewhat close-ish to next tier there. Oh, 
Is that more with gold? Which makes me think that potentially he might be going for something over there. looking what's the payoff if I go over there doesn't change okay Is he aging up? He's not aging up yet. Which is a little bit confusing. I thought he would be aging up now at this point in time. I definitely want to age up now. Military wing. Should be the name of the game for me now. Just want to pump out more archers. Ah, okay. He wanted to hide it. So he wants to hide with which wing he's going up with. Okay, we'll add in 15 more traders. Be level two now as well. Yep. It's made an army. It doesn't have nearly as many archers as I do. That's right, run away, run away. Maybe I can. Look like it's kind of okay, he doesn't want to fight there. It's fine, you don't have to fight. You might want to though. This is no yet, right? It's not okay. Cool. So each up now as well. Oh, he's still hanging around over here. Damn, okay, I thought he would actually just leave. Oh, that one's gonna go down, right? Oh, actually lives. Alright. I suppose is about to come in now as well. Ah, oh, this is actually going to be annoying though. If he takes that down, then I'll only have my scout line of sight. He's getting Gulams in. 
Let's send some add some crossbows in there as well. Holy Max Pop now. He hasn't made his own Magnolia yet though. Attack speed, he doesn't have the upgrade yet. He doesn't have the attack speed upgrade. at this point in time. Attack speed upgrade yet? Still no. So we're just attacking way quicker than he is right now. Still very annoying right now with the line of sight there. Quite sure he would add a mangano at this point in time, but right now. Still doesn't have the composite bows upgrade. He's just making offers. Just run through then. Uh, next upgrade is gonna be... Let's go Culture Wing. Is he getting his eco from even? Gold over there is expired by now. I don't need any more villagers. <laughs> Needs more layers? I think we've layered up enough at this point in time. Hmm. 
Nice town. I'll take it. Um, it's like even 60 traders. Is this all, all of his farms here? Looks like it is. So he just invested a lot of wood into that only to get pushed off of it. That can't feel good. He hasn't gathered anything of the other resource there. Alright, um, let's do this differently now. I need well, I don't to do my iconic victory dance for nothing. It. Okay, I guess just this once I can do it for nothing. Ew, ew, ew. ew, ew okay, ew. I guess I can do one more for nothing. Ew, ew, ew. A mangano. I should believe it. A mangano. So I have Golden Age 3, right? Don't need that much more for it. Put more villagers here. Let's requeue that one. Golden Age Tier 3. Alright, we got this upgrade, so now all of this is a lot cheaper. Uh, let's get this upgrade, let's get that upgrade. So right now our traders give us 75 resources with every single trip. It's not the greatest, not the greatest by vote at all. But it's gonna get upgraded to from 75. That's still gonna wait a little bit longer. This upgrade's also coming in now. I already have so much armor as well. H5? Ah, we don't need H5. What we need now is 70 elite lancers. Go, oh, my villager! I wanted vision. Static crime. <laughs> 75 resources, and now it's from 75. <laughs> Pretty much 100. Nice. That's a big upgrade. That's a lot of additional resource we're getting now. 20 food with every single drop off there. Quite there yet. Quite there yet. A little bit more. Almost there. Almost at the 70 lancers that we want. There's no way, right? There's no way you can hold this. 66? 70? Where do I have four? Oh! You guys, you count as military. There we go. Nice 70. Let's go for a landmark snipe, actually. No, I want to kill the landmarks, man. Trading OP. Yeah, 
That's a good amount of gold. Pretty disappointed not seeing a wonder. Eh, you don't want to wonder every game, right? <laughs> I think in 1v1s, a wonder usually isn't very realistic. Every time somebody gets a wonder, something must be wrong with the game, right? Because somebody just shouldn't have that much stone left over to just make a wonder. Mm, all right, let's go back to this thirty-eight really million nice dollar no, I want to take house everybody back to the mansion. staircase so we can talk about this section again. Garage, we have the staircase lounge, here, movie theater. And, uh, cozy oh, that's theater. a pretty chill now, you may movie think theater that's it for this room. It's not. Can we hit it? We have these curtains opening up to the movie. Oh no, theater. there's the actual movie I theater. I thought this was a screen, but no, it's another area, movie theater. Seat carpet continues, fuel elevation, <laughs> comfortable seating, padded walls. Wall sconces, massive screen here. Of course, you have your surround sound projector, uh, and I just love how I'm not sure if this is like better. Together. That way, you can either have a normal movie theater, like this, or you can just based on the seating, and have that cozy lounge section over there. Now, let's continue our tour back to the landing. Looks by good the way. though. There's another curtain here if you want to close off this section. Again, your wine cellar. Behind the staircase, we also have a powder bathroom for this level and continuing here mm -hmm. traveling floors oh found a game township who's that level 703 80 percent win rate wait is that who's that Got no idea who that is. Uh, let's play Byzantines. This is H3. Oh man. Oh man. Cavallari. Ne. Ne. Tiso. I love playing versus a tree man. Best turtles of in the game. Ah, one, two. Not the sheep, not the will. They already scout behind my base. Salt not finding any sheep so far over there. Let's assume that he did. He was already there. I moved just out of range of my TC to see uh, to spot him. I feel like I should have seen his scout at one point so far, if he actually did go for that. I'm kind of confused how I didn't see his scout at least once so far. Okay, it actually was the other way around. Then how did I not see any sheep there so far? Scout behind his, his base then. He has got a great amount of sheep so far in this game. Two, let's do it like this. Oh, 
Oh, double scout. Wait, who is that? Who is this player? Township. Oh, I fucking knew it. It's core. <laughs> it's core, man. Literally nobody else goes to uh, goes to double scout with a tree. It's not gonna have gold there, but he's putting the outpost on gold, so you can already tell that it is gonna be fast castle from. So that was a lie. This guy. Yeah, finish building that. I don't want him to suddenly cancel that one. And he would get his resources back that he put into it so far. Where's that waypoint going? So Ajab should be coming in for him soon. I imagine probably on the other side from the Archon. Already have stable out. There's the Ragnats. So very likely going to be together with Knights. I don't have a lot of information right now in regards to the position. Oh, come on, really? Not enough food? Oh, 
He's already picked that one up. There was one over here that he's picked up, so he's already picking up two. He's actually gonna get four relics here this game, man. But it's one. Um, Ragnar's actually a little bit exposed. You know, so maybe. Just maybe that is somewhere where I can put pressure on. What's this upgrade not through yet? Oh, really? Let's have plus armor on those. Where's the relic over here? Another night that he's hitting over there. It's not on gold at all anymore. I'm guessing he's probably going to attempt to age up soon. That would be typical core gameplay. Market? Yeah, he's definitely aging up soon. Trying to at the very least. Yep, there's Imperial Age from him. Isn't that lovely how much interaction we had with him so far in this game? Oh, 
Yep. Placements as per usual. The issue is that I'm over here now and I can't move my units around, right? Like, Yeah, that's where his landmark is. That's why I suspect it. I suspect it. And he's double in placement around it already. Quite sure that I can't afford to age up now in this situation. I know that he's still around here somewhere, right? Let's try and harass him over here now. Of course, just gonna be mass freaking that shit. Mass cannon placements. Uh, just mass, mass, mass and placements here. Come on, move the right way. Actually, let's get rid of one of these here. It's doing so much damage, man. This emplacement, look at that. The emplacements kill the things that are supposed to kill them. There's nothing poetic about that, it's just bad game design. Right? Like, huh? Three of my units die instantly. Oh, 
Κανήματα έτσι. Να φύγω. Κοριάτες έτοιμοι. Πάντες, ακούσετε τι λέμε να εργάσουμε. Πάντες, ακούσετε. Φρέσε πια ο Άσβαϊνα. Φρέκ, σιωπή. Εντάξει. And the funny thing is, like, I'm already dead here. I'm already just so freaking dead. And there's nothing I can do about it because these outposts just destroy my rams, right? Which is just kind of fucked up. Kind of, kind of, kind of a little bit fucked up. All my units are dead! They're all dead! They're all gone! It's all the fucking emplacements, man! Oh, and it's the same thing every single game. Oh, it's such bad gameplay, man. HRE. H R fucking E. Pass castle into Swabia. Hoggers. Love it. Nice one. Deserved victory. Oops. There's a slight boom. I'm imp. That's just badly played. Badly played. Bad gameplay. Civ win, poggers. Maybe it's better to all in them in fuel age. Surely, surely it's better to all in them in fuel age. Yep. Go all in, HRE without a knight's of in fuel age. Have fun, man. Just play HRE, man. That you're so smart, Ankvis. You're so smart. Amazing. Glad to have you here, dude. Your wisdom is so appreciated. It's so great. Love it. Keep it up, dude. See where it gets you. So what to do against this? I'm honestly not sure. I'm honestly just not sure. Like, you have to kill them. The issue with HRE is that they just build emplacements. They get 40% better economy, right? So whatever they do, they're going to be faster than you. Unless you've got anything special going for you military-wise, you can't really kill them. Maybe some early horse and then raid the gold. You saw that he already had the outpost up there, right? Like by that time, he's already gonna have an outpost up. He's gonna have a trip with three villagers. He's gonna get the emplacements immediately. Then doesn't matter. I can't do damage there. Yeah, you can't kill it. Emergency repair is just gonna outheal anything. You gotta go for rams, but rams. By the time you get the ram stuff in, he's already up. And if he feels like he can't go up, then you're already behind because you had to invest into a ram and then he can have more units out than you. What was BC saying HRE is so weak? Did BC saying HRE is so weak and he's also a prolific HRE spammer? Like HRE is not weak. It's never been weak. Literally never. What about walling the relics? Yeah, you can wall the relics. That would have actually helped me a bit there, I think. Because he had like four relics for three, if I can make that like a maximum of two relics for him, that would be better. That would be better. I've had a thing recently where um, I walled in one relic, but the relic was so close to the wall that my opponent was able to grab the relic through the wall. Uh, what headset am I using? Um, these are the Bayer Dynamics DT900 Pro X.
Good uh, luck. I'm wondering Have how fun. I should approach that matchup. Maybe I should just go 2TC from the beginning. Good luck. Have into fun. Fast Castle Age and just play around Mercenaries early on. I don't want to go Kashik though. Kashik contract. Let's not talk about that core. You know, I really am not a big fan of Ichiri. I was just... I was bored throughout that entire game. Uh, wrong click. There we go. You're literally spamming Byzantines? Yep, it's not nearly as OP as HRE. Never has been. HRE is just by far the most broken sieve in the game. I'm playing the balance sieve here, man. Why is HRE not rated? Didn't Demo rate an S tier? Quite sure. They should nerf the inspiration. I think what they should do with the inspiration is nerf it to 30% and then put an additional 10% into the um, monastery upgrade. That buffs inspiration. I think that would balance H3 a lot more. What about OTD against H3? I don't have a lot of experience with OTD. I can't really speak on their behalf. What I 100% can say though is I... You didn't work today? Of course I did. It's every day, bro. Work from 7.30 until 4pm. Is there actually enough space there? Is that two tiles? I think I think it is four tiles, so it should be fine. All right, I'm just going to anticipate that he's most likely going to be going for military wing, right? At least it should be military wing. Unless it's culture wing. If it's culture wing, then I'm a little bit screwed because it's going to be fast castle. Would be a weird choice. Wait, is this landmark and forward? That's odd. Odd position. Ugh. Got it a little bit too much there. It is military wing, okay. This is going to be a little bit insanely risky. Ναι, 
Μπορούσα. Πάντες έτοιμοι. Χωρικοί έτοιμοι οι σκελέσεις. Κατάσκοπος ράφτα πράτων. Εκελέψεις έρχονται. Actually, I'm not sure what this is going to be. Πάντες έτοιμοι. Ναι, τούτο κατενόησα. Πάντες έτοιμοι. Χωρικοί, 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 ευθύς. Πάρημοι, ευθύς. Εκελέψεις έρχονται. Τούτο εφηλέγω... Εκελέψεις έρχονται. διατάξεις. Ναι. Καβαλάριο, μάλιστα. So he's just for now going for harassing my landmark over there. It's honestly fine. Even though I can't get the berries there, I'll just age up to constellation and get them. Αρχίζω να εργάζομαι. Τι είναι διατάξει, υπέγω εκεί. Καλά, εκελέψει. Εκελέψει. Επέρω ξύλο. Κατάσκοπο ορού το πράτο. Ναι, τούτο εργάζομαι. Let's get a wall going over here. Τούτο χτίζω. Καβαλάριο να υπέξω. Probably an outpost over here ish. Έτοιμο ή να κινηθώ. In that region. Yeah, he's just got the units inside there. Uh, what's he going for? That's his second TC. It's horsemen now from him. Alright. Let's get an ost post going over here. I think he still has the unit in there, yep. So we can just send a single villager over to repair. It'll be fine there for quite the time being. Didn't think he would just run past it. My TC there. I guess he does. How annoying. Alright. 
Πάντε σε τούτο εργασία. Τι πράγμα. Χωρικοί, έλατε χωριάτες. Εκτίσ... Ακοντιστή. Προχωρώ. Στρατιώτης. Το ασκότιον κοινή. Πάντε σε τίποτα. I still need to ram there now, it's quite expensive. Is he going for a second ram? It's gonna make it very expensive for him. It's like he's still trying to look for damage to do there. Uh, relic positioning. I don't know a lot about relic positioning. And this one. Reaching Castle Age at roughly the same point in time. That's interesting. I upgraded that one. Alright, never mind that then. And he's fully walled me in, and uh, walled me out of that side at least. Looks like I'm gonna be in need of something else as well. Since he's added all of that, it's probably gonna be my school arm soon. So put this one up over here. Καβαλκέβο. 
Στοχίσατε κάτω. Στείλε με ένα περιπατό. Καλά εκτελεί. Δώσ' μου τα σκελέξει. Υπακού. Hello, can I not hit the boar? I actually can't hit the boar. Great. Great, 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 great. Don't click the boar. There it is, there's a uh, plus one relic that I was looking for. That's my crossbows. Oh, there they are. Instead of going to the nearest, he's going to the furthest building where he can garrison. Really? What is it with players like being so aggro, like running literally right under my TC, even though they have no reason to like be there? No reason to be that aggressive, as in like they don't actually have what it takes to finish you off. Only level four? What's happening? Oh, he actually destroyed that? When? That was a couple of golems actually did that. Okay, they got more done there than, than I thought. It's on his side. Catastrophe on the 
Let's see. Let's just let's just end the game. Wait, I only have five villagers building that? That's not enough. That's a sad winery. Yep. Yes, it is. Uh, I have enough to go up to tier three there again. It's building more siege now. Let's switch on the offensive now. Wait, how did these horsemen get in there? How did I not see them until now? I was blind to those red dots, maybe I just ignored the minimap a little bit for too long. Oh, look at that. It's going down. It's going down. GG. If he committed to Feudal Age, I think he probably would have been in a pretty good spot there after the berry denial, but it's like, he went for the berry denial and then he stopped attacking. He went for Rex, but he didn't make any more units. And I got those berries here then for free. He didn't check even to look for any of my other berries. I think he would have been perfectly fine with just playing this game 1TC.
Can you give me some tips? I'm learning Russian and I always lose to English and Chinese early RAM push. Even my militia can't save me. They send RAM one after another. Help me. That shouldn't happen. Just make units other than militia. Like as Rus, you definitely shouldn't ever lose to like early, early RAM pushes. Just make knights. Knights and archers, that's your go-to composition as Rus in Feudal Age. And with Kremlin you should easily be able to go 2TC and then go into knights and archers from there on out. Should be able to deal with pretty much anything in Feudal Age. Who's that? Is that Demu? No. It's Corvinus. Alright. Danube River. That's Corvinus, right? I think. I'm not sure. Can you play the magic song? I can't, man. DMCA is gonna fuck me over. It's not bad on Twitch, but on YouTube it definitely is. So. Like, they, they look out for that kind of stuff. What's he doing with OTD here, I wonder? Let's just build this over here. I want to build that somewhere I can easily cross over. Because I'm assuming that he's not docking. He is docking. Okay, okay. No mind, I'll take that back then. Not gotten lucky so far when it comes to scouting on this map. For sheep. There he is. He's got a couple of sheep following him. Not that many either though. This kind of tells me that I should probably go scout his side then. Okay, he's found a good amount of sheep over on my side then. Let's hope that we can find at least a couple more over on his side. Uh, he's actually going over there then. Okay, okay. Mm. 
Getting a decent ish amount still from his side. Definitely should be enough for us. What's he doing? Oh, he went proxy. It's like he really wants to get my dock down. thing dude <laughs> I don't know I don't know what that was do you play team games later with Baltian? It depends if he wants to. For now, we're just laddering. Let's play one free fall in between. Or oh, let's not. Sure. <laughs> sure, let's not. Oh, okay. Let's play one more China game. Do you feel well prepared for the team tournament? Um. I don't usually prepare just because I'm not really a big tournament player myself. Maybe. OTD again? Huh?
准备就绪，明白。当年。Any brothers here for this one sheep? Nope. Okay. 你输。速速。骑马骑。命令即明白。不尊重。命令即认同。嗯。明白。数不冲。准备就绪。平静中，起码平静中。你说明白，请下边记得。Playing on Lipany。哇哇喂喂，这个 very nice。OTD feels really weak at the moment. I'm not sure. I don't know. It's doing fifty games with every sieve. Okay. So he's already in goal, which means this time it's probably not going to be like a dark age rush from him. He's found seven, we found seven, so we're pretty even in that regard. I can't go past because the TC is blocking. Love Lipany spawns. Want to go into the middle, but I can't because of that TC. So we got deer up over here. Oh, sheep, 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 sheep. Double sheep. That's a pretty decent barbican spot over here. I would say. I should have sent them back. I should have sent them back. Oh god, 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 god. Oh. Whew, that was a close one. Almost didn't get the uh, supervision there in time for the drop off. Now, the question is going to be what's his game plan? Actually, let's put that over there. Leave some space for production building potentially over here. What's the win condition of the HRE player, OTD player here? It depends. Like, if they can go fast castle, then obviously just Imperial and Boom. Um, while turtling is the usual go to. Map sometimes, I swear. Let's see, depending on how many he has on gold right now, he'll know what he's going for. Okay. 
Second TC. Okay. In that case, we'll answer in kind. They can TC into fast castle later on the looks of it. Alright. Relics. We see one relic over here. It's very close to his secondary TC. Okay, probably can't deny that one. That's just a close one, two, three, four. We're just going to try rolling those in. Shoot, hello. That's fast, that's very fast. Question's gonna be what units is he going for? If he even has any production buildings up by now. Just be stable from him potentially into some nights. If there's a stable. Scholar is going to be on his way now. Come on, drop that off. Oh, 
Okay, he's taking his time. He's gonna start with Sacred Sun instead then. Ah! No, what did I do? What did I do? What the fuck did I do? Huh? What the hell? Oh my god. That's not good. It's not something that you'll want to have happen. Oh. Nice, that's so much value. Gained right there. I actually got the upgrade for the bonus uh, movement speed. Another key. Yo, Shavik. Thank you for the sub, man. Thank you, thank you. No, 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 come on. What Bluetooth hit? Are you kidding me? I was messed up how that connected. Oh, you already took the relic? That was quick. 
That was indeed a little quick. Did not expect her to be that quick. Alright, time to get some pagodas up. Okay, it looks like he's gonna go for major, major aggression now. Life a little bit annoying, losing that there. Right, where was I? Way up over here. 
据义留心，命令来临，准备执行命令。据义留心，该死！他们在攻击大局。所有人准备出发。天九半，准备。大家注意，大家注意。需要做些什么？改改火力。I mentioned that he would go for uh, HM. Are you say, Cor? Let's go around the side then. Oh, there's a wall. Oh, he's trying to H up over there. Alright, let's see. Screaming Echoes, thank you very much for the sub, man. Very much appreciate it. Oh no no no. Oh no 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 no. Sending all of those back there. Get this one already. Look at that, it's a dead spring old. Oh, is that all enough to kill? Uh, I should definitely get one of those up now. Where did he age up? What is this? Stonewall there. Just deny him access to any more resources outside of the map. I'm faster, so I'll just go somewhere else. It's got even more crossbows. That's cool, that's cool. Ah! I thought I sent them in further. Deeper, rather. Alright, let's see. Let's get these upgrades in. Where's my blacksmith? Wait, don't tell me I don't have a blacksmith. Oh my god. One, two, three, four in that case. Yeah, we don't have a blacksmith. He's all completely, completely unupgraded. And... 
Teehee, I stonewalled. Oh. So is he from the looks of it. Oh, Elspa here in the middle. How? Oh, nice for him. I still have a lot of these crossbows. I'm not going to use them. So let's just get rid of them so I get population for other things. Doesn't have a relic inside of that one. That's not enough. GG. Looks covered. Yeah, it's only only two viewers like that. I got an overlay which just uh, zooms in on the minimap for viewers. Yeah, we did some very strong raids there. Even before the all-in. And these clock tide bombards are just really hard to take down. Really, really hard to take down. All right, I want to play a. I want to play a nomad game. Not a lot, just one. I didn't make any Shugnu. I'm not sure what you mean. What you mean with like mass Jew army? No mad game, does it mean no molding? <laughs> you never know, it depends. I molded a little bit at core earlier. Because he was playing OP HRE.
All right, we're in queue at the moment. So while we're in queue, let's look at some mansions. Curved corners to soften up the spaces. And the first room on our left-hand side is the gym. Rubber floors, they even brought the travertine element to the gym here. Is it just back. me or does it feel like that? <laughs> like it's very high up. If you're standing there, do you hit like over here? Like it, fe it feels because the um, the ceilings are so tall that it feels like this is very high up. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it just feels like it's very high up. Nice picture window facing your car gallery, so you can see your car is there. Because we're on the lower level, it's nice that you have a good side. Actually, with him standing next to you can see your car. It's still high up. It's still high up. Like this is this is where like. Full arm extended, this is where he would punch. He would punch at the lower half. Like, I think you should be punching over here-ish, right? Because you actually don't want it to swing that much. Is there, because we're on the lid, you have a good size window bringing natural light, built-in bar with a fridge, and this is your gym. Now, going to the other side, we have the spa. This is a really nice space. You have a massage table. It's for here, overhead kicks. Bar, All right. Another <laughs> sink, open shelving, and coming this way, really nice gotcha, dressing gotcha. table with a circle mirror, wall sconces, and on the other side we have the steam room. This has to be one of the most beautiful steam. Someone rooms with too much money that wants, shower. yeah, they so want to box, right? Stone. It's a quartzite. Cool sauna or is that a shower? Blasted the slabs of Did you say what it was? To get I'm not sure if this is a sauna or a shower. It so has a shower head, the but there's no shower head over here. Really but then it doesn't have that typical like thingy where you put like rocks in and, and like put They're oils on top stone, of it. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's actually all book match. You have the yeah, it just looks like it's a shower. Here, rain head above, shower head, your steam outlets, just a beautiful steam shower now if you follow steam shower there's the, the sauna here, all right they brought the same stone around this there we sauna. go so i really appreciate how they incorporated this there's the rocks well. i was talking about where you then, put like the oil on yeah. oh found a game found a game um <laughs> Land Mega Random. Let's play OTD. Good luck. Have fun. Good luck. Have fun. OTD, we're playing versus Zhuji, Japan, John, Japan, Mongols, Mongols, China. Zhuji is kind of dangerous. How much is the delay? What delay? I, got, I stream without delay. What if they see your master plan? Then that's the way it is. Then that's just the way it is. They want to stream snipe. Sure, I'll just quit out and... Do something else. No reply and doesn't respond to my question, shaking my head. It's tough, man. Being a streamer, like you play and then you also look at chat, man. Like gotta play, gotta look at chat, gotta answer to, with people uh, like gotta talk to people. Do you have some recommendations on how to play ABBA versus John Dark? No. Have one camel archer um, for debuff in your military. Make spearmen, make archers. Try not to die. Look for an age up. Got double golds over here. Do we have any more resources? Like food wise on this ish side? That would be nice. Uh, might have to just saddle for it. Over here, let's see. We got, we got, oh, there's deer there. Perfect, perfect. Yo, Demu, coming in with the big raid. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you had a good stream. Oh, no, Blue, go away, go away. Shush, shush. We don't want you here. No, 
No. Yeah. No. There's a good amount of sheep there. Now the cool thing is because we're playing as a uh, wait. I know we're not building this much faster, are we? We should be building it much faster. All our other building speeds are faster. I'm clueless. I'm a little bit clueless, I'm not gonna lie. But now the question is gonna be... The question is gonna be... Doesn't build up faster? Yeah, it doesn't, but... Like, usually what, they, what they've done so far, at least from what it looked like to me, is when you're playing as China, for example, like, all your buildings are being, produ is, are being built slower. And it wouldn't be Relic if they weren't, like, forgetting about stuff like that, so I'm just checking. There he is. A little bit quicker overall with our build. Could just outpost Russian over here. In theory. Wait, uh Scout first, scout first. We're gonna want to scout first. Oh, come on closer. Uh, close enough. Close enough. Not deer pushing with king. The deer, the king can't deer push, right? As far as I know. I think you're trying to troll me, Faye. I think you're trying to troll me. I appreciate the hustle, but that's about it. Uh, I think we want to go over here. GG. Well played. Good game. Well played. I'm just gonna go mine work here. I don't think Aachen is that great, especially since long term I'll be able to. Oh my god, he's going on stone, this guy. Doesn't have gold over here from the looks of it. I feel like he doesn't have gold. No, he does have gold over here. He's not going there. He's kind of stuck, step bro. Mm, do we go for three builds? No, nah, that's not. Starting to yap. <laughs> I'm assuming then you've had your fair share of interactions with him. Got a lot of cliffs here. This is a pretty great spot if I'm able to secure this. Just gotta kill blue. Gonna fast cast to collect relics and then maybe make uh, when it arms something like that. Sheep. Sheep, sheep, sheep. Oh, there's more sheep over there. Let's get them. Would be cool if we find more relics as well on our way over there. Found two so far, which is already pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. For a start, that's... Like, finding two relics at this point in time, I think, is already pretty good. Yeah, this amount of sheep is truly, truly very nice to play with. So now we can just bring all of those back. And then we're gonna lure in these deer. You can also lure these over there if you wanted to. We only need to age up with one villager, right? Because we're not actually going for like a quick age up or anything like that. Well, not in feudal age at least. Feudal age, we're not trying to age up that quickly. Our main plan is going to be to age up quickly to castle age. It's interesting, a little bit of a of an overpass there. Just jump right back. Rita 
I don't think five builds. Actually, I think yeah, five builds should be enough there. Let's go up to nine villagers on food, and then we're gonna send two over to wood. Come on, there we go. So he's just happily gathering that, upgrading his main TC. The upgrades on the main TC could actually end up being a little bit annoying. Um, I want to kill this guy over here ASAP, like very quickly, but I still don't want to sacrifice my castle age timing because I need relics, right? I'm OTD, I want relics. gonna be kind of the plan here. What's the best boomsif to carry 2v2 and 3v3? Um, typically you don't really boom that much in 2v2. 2v2 usually it's like French and English together to try and uh, like kill your opponent. Separate them and then knife on one. But yeah, China's pretty good for booming. English works really well as well with multi-TC. Nice, we found another relic over there. That's pretty huge. What to do with China against Juju? Are you a bit fast castle? Um, just one TC fast castle as well. Got the Barbican right, so should be good in that regard. Oh my god, there's so many relics there. Ah, god damn it. Want to actually just pull him away? Alright, this next drop off we're gonna be able to age up. Let's start with these three here. Finding all the relics this game. Usually they can be quite hidden, but this game we're finding a lot of them. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, it could have been faster if you pulled more builds, but I think we got a pretty decent balance there. These upgrades are so cheap now. Oh my god. Okay, I just can't. Uh, had me there for a second, I'm not gonna lie. We'll just go men at arms. Just cause there's nothing he can really do to counter men at arms, right? And if I go knights and he has Shogun at Palo um Shogun at Castle, then I'm gonna be sad. Orange is guarding me. Don't like that. Oh, 
All right, relic over there secured. That's a Khan there. The Khan does more damage than anything else, so I'm just going to focus on hitting the Khan. I don't think he can deny that. Let's run. Yeah, we're getting that one. Oh, did they wall there somewhere along those lines? Oh, I lost my, lost my guy somewhere. Why is he walking like this? Can still walk past there, right? Yeah, it looks like it. He's stonewalling while he's still in feudal age. All right. All right, no mercy. Let's try and end them. Mark it up just because we're now getting a very good amount of gold in. Yeah, having five relics in a free fall, that's pretty amazing. Let's commit some men at arms, but we got Castle Man at arms. If. Oh, he does have plus four in them already. So he's gotten two of the upgrades already. second TC. In that case he doesn't have Shogun of Castle, in which case I don't really have to worry. I can just kill him at my own pace now. I should 100% wall the side off though. Wouldn't want him to just run away with his king. He's somewhat holding. But the banner is gonna disappear soon. Then these men arms are gonna lose out on two of their damage. Now we don't want to make lands smash. They're gonna die to TC fire. Oh yeah, let's quickly check this while... Yeah, his 
King is still inside of his TC. Let's get upgrades in. King is still inside. I'm wondering why he's still struggling, like he's dead, no doubt about it. Like so dead. This guy. Teal from looks of it, John Dark is killing someone there. Which makes sense, right? John Dark is broken. Of course, she's gonna kill someone. Somebody's Imperial Age. It's not us. It's inside. He's running. Oh, come on. Don't just run to your next CC. Please die. Uh, econ upgrades. It's time for us to grab economic upgrades and age up as well. You want to age up somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, that's what I actually expected Faye to happen. We're gonna age up here in this corner and we're gonna go with Swabia. Just because now we kill the guy. This is the this is like the cool thing with um, OTV, right? Like you kill a guy, and then you can just boom afterwards. Kill a guy and just boom afterwards. Yeah, we're just doing it over here in case we, somebody attempts to go for a landmark snipe, right? Because we wouldn't want that to happen. A landmark getting sniped. Also trying to get rid of all of these buildings here in order to get ourselves some more space. Huh? Oh. Come on, go over there. They're all far away from us, which is nice. Alright, more eco upgrades. Got that one, got that one, got these. OTD baseline 250 health uh, population. They'd be broken. They would be so broken. Maybe 20 for late game. I feel like 20 would be more than fine. More than enough. Oh, I saw most of that. Double layering that already, just cause. Oh, how things can go at times. 
Doom Overlay Boss Silence. <laughs> Alright, we're in. That means we get more upgrades in. Get all of these in. Like, this is just gonna be absolutely huge. The amount of resources we're getting here. Uh, orange is Imperial H as well. Not sure if he may have been trading or not. Sure why that guy... Those guys are going over there. Yeah, King is going to be very, very nice and secure over there. We can just send this guy over there just to tell the world, hey, we exist. It's time to stonewall ourselves as well now. All the upgrades in the world. Oh, this one is very big now as well. We're going to be getting a lot of additional resources from that one. Tight bonds. Oh. Oh. We don't have a lot of production buildings right about now. Which is dangerous. Especially when we see something like that over there. Oh, it was the stone that he had already mined. Okay, okay, he had an Ubu there at one point. That's why. That's why he's been over there. I'm not even sure if there's anybody over there on that side. Maybe I can wall long. Actually, the stone still exists. He's got a uh, cannon placement there. Oh, I should get a university up as well. Just a second blacksmith to make things. Actually, no, we don't need like this one, right? Like, we're getting these upgrades in pretty fast and cheap as well. Alright, let's go to the left hand side. Uh, I don't think we need to at this moment in time. Actually, what we can do is we can get another keep up over here. In order to get the upgrades for walls and stuff like that, make them even stronger. Sachery is broken defensively. Just her John die. Rete us nach Gehes. Ganda, ich verrechse 
So we could potentially wall up there. Still a lot of resource out there. Let's just pump up military. Uh, not military economy until pop cap. There's so much resource out there. So many resource out there. A <laughs> couple of villagers on the run. That's another Mongo player we got going over there. Uh, let's just wall it in with the Uvu, right? Just gonna attack it. Alright, yeah, but oh, that's orange. Okay, I, I might want to take down orange. I think orange might be a little bit too strong. All right, now let's look at a really, really strong upgrades here. Okay, yeah, we got to kill this guy. We have got to kill him. No doubt about it now. Oh, let's find this one first. Uh, my next upgrade should be coming in soon. This one here, that's the most important one for me right now. He is for sure getting a lot of resources in at the moment. Yeah, all of these walls up now. And then it's going to be time for us to start killing this guy. Uh, this one's upgraded, so he's gotten two upgrade outposts here, three, four, like three and a half. That one had a spring in placement, not a one modern placement. Yeah, 
Deine Mönche stehen bereit für die nächste Aufgabe. That's a lot of bombard emplacements he's got. Ah, not purple. Okay. He's somewhat losing a fight. Let's hold back at least with the uh, hand cannons. Actually, if he just wants to fight, I'm down for that. If we're taking way better trades here. Just because our hand can needs to attack so much faster. going. Looks like he's trying to find an entrance to my base. That's just a lot of these emplacements, man. Okay. That reaches over there? Okay. Interesting. Let's get these out there, get the buff on them. That. There's a keep. Deine Mönche stehen bereit. Hören alles zu. Hören alles zu. Der Befehl schon kommt. There is a keep. Hören alles zu. Was für die Hase für alles geordnet und in Bewegungen. Gehören an. Befehl schon zu gehorchen. Hat er reitet auf eine Mönche. Ein Hund ist mein Befehl. Sniped. Sniped. 
Wait, it's only two alive? It's only two alive? Huh. Well, let's clean this out. Don't think there are any relics left over here. Wonder of Sacred Sight. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking right now. I mean, I got my... I should have my uh, scholar. Okay, actually all my prelates died over there. <laughs> oh, he might not want to kill that guy. He might not want to kill Rent. Well, it's gonna be against John. Get some additional plus 15. I think we're even if not one ahead. Population wise. I was missing one. Great there. Okay. Strange. Thought I'd gotten it. No wonder what has been feeling rather slow so far. <sighs> Seven bombards. I, I don't need to. I don't, I don't think I need to prolong this game much longer and go for a wonder. There's just no need to go for a wonder here. Let's just end up and go into 1v1s. Ah, it's an LTC over there. Getting closer. Oh, there's Ron as well. It's a good army. It's like we're gonna get cleared here. Potentially. Just flooded. Oh my god, these guys are so expensive. Holy shit. Okay, he gave up. Alright. <laughs> yeah, he has... No eco. They've probably just been fighting the entire time then. <laughs> you charry booming man. Alright, let's
let's play some one we once. Wait, I click play again. Okay, got it. Yeah, stop search rank. There we go. Oh, Lyric is playing AB4 again. Pog. I mean, he's trying. He do be trying. We're in the queue. That means Have let's finish the tour. From four to spa, Patagonia stone, oak cabinetry, travertine floors. And I gotta say, this spa is not really big, but the way it's designed and laid out and all the textures used throughout, it functions really, really well. Now, let's go back to the hallway so we can continue our tour. To be fair, you don't want a sauna with like 20 dudes, right? Third walls. Then we have this massive picture window here facing these amazing views. Now, this is a really beautiful moment in this house, and this opening serves two purposes. Number one, it's actually a sliding glass door that opens up to the outside. There's a staircase here that takes you to the pool. That way, from this level, you can access to the backyard very easily. Second, it brings great natural light. <laughs> yeah, you do, all right. Here before you what language is that? Uh, right English, inside. he's speaking English. And looking at this opening, understanding what it takes to design a Excited about like the new sips. It was even built. Um, I feel like it's probably a bug and not like uh, a fuck up. They, them being the like, oh, we're hiding new sips. That's I think most likely it's just the game bugging. That's why I love engineering and I love how creative people can come together. Oh, the YouTube here? I mean, the YouTube video is still so English. Seamless, so beautiful and bring the titles, I'm sure uh, YouTube introduced like automatic translation of titles at some point. Um, it's in German. So this house is the combined effort of an all-star team with David, Dieter, Seota and all of the employees that built this place. I wanted something that is timeless, that is modern, good materials. These are the best videos internet. of 2024 so far. That was pretty cool. Exactly fate. <laughs> Of course, we've all heard of gravity, but do we really know what it is? Allow me to simply demonstrate the effects of gravity using just these two balls. <laughs> oh my god! Oh god. <laughs> that caught me off guard. I need an egg. Thank you. Why are you drinking Pedialyte, bro? I need it. But you just love your eyes. Some. He used both your eyes. The fuck's that cat doing? <laughs> oh. Hello, Hank. Oh. He ate. He just ate it. How does something like this even happen? <laughs> Wait, did you just hit herself? Did you? Did you just hit herself? Huh? How? This baby was upset because dad kept snoring. Is he gonna punch it? <laughs> this video is so weird to me because I know this is the door closing the other door, but for some reason the first like three or four times I watched it, I was like, where the fuck is that cabinet going? <laughs> Oh, got him! Now you gotta twist it. Oh my god! 
<laughs> oh, so God, what exactly was the goal here? <laughs> this dad spoke to his daughter through uh -oh. the doorbell camera. Welcome home, Ellabella. Ooh, RKO out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, found again. Oh my god. We're in queue for 5 minutes and 20 seconds and we're getting Diamond 3. Let's play Mongols and Forts. Forts, I believe, is a Mongol map. Could also play Ruse. Ports unbanned. Can't ban every map, they just cannot ban every map. And we're up against English. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I should have picked Roos. Now I'm sad. Mangadai time, surely. That's the wrong side to leave my fort. Ask for a remake, sure. Sacred side over here means that my opponent is probably far away. Do, 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 far away. Yep, he's far. Do, 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 do. Getting some sheep. We like sheep. Three should be enough on gold. We're just gonna multi TC it. Fuck it. We'll multi multi TC it. We'll giga TC it. You will see a good amount of TCs in this game. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go for a decent amount of TCs in this game. Now we're not going for multi villager production with Uvu. That's what the additional TCs are going to be for. This one sheep? Wait, was there another sheep there? Oh. It'll get killed eventually, surely. Dear stones. Let's put one more tile between that. And now we can just be annoying with Khan. Because that's what Mongols like to do. They like to be annoying. It's kind of their prerogative. 
Right, we're getting real better, not the improved one, just because it's still kind of poop. We want to still use the stone for other upgrades, all the other improved upgrades. That's gonna be his gold. He's gathered up, and he's not on gold anymore. Now the question is gonna be: Is he going for multi TC now behind this? He's aging up with Council Hall. How are we going to be able to get multi TC in? He's only aging up with two villagers. Two villagers is a little bit sus, and we're only seeing 13 villagers here, so I'm guessing that he probably has villagers and stuns. So he's going for multi TC as well. I think we can determine that much. That's gonna be enough for that. Yeah, he's multi teasing. Now well, let's get this upgrade in next. Let's see if we can kill at least one villager here. If we kill one villager, we're going to be very happy. Pausing idle time. I can't survive another one of these while these. I'll have to move. I really want to kill that villager. It's not fair. Watch us lose the card. Yep. That's fine. Villagers are really fast right now, 1.49 tiles per second. Looks like a spam SMS that I just got, or rather, a phishing SMS. It's got a random person named Sophia Bates messaging me via SMS, being like, hello, nothing else. Nobody does that. First of all, to all the all the scammers out there, nobody just opens up a conversation with hello. At least not to somebody they've never talked to before. This is running out at some point in time. We're gonna put our next TC over there. Pan should be coming in a little bit as well. A new calm rises. Let's go. Welcome. A lone long woman. Can we win that fight? I think we can. 
Oh, but there's two now. Now I don't want to fight that anymore. I'm gonna say we'll go for another TC. I think we might actually need at least a couple of units to deal with that. See there. Well, now I can kill the last one with my con. Right, the long woman disappeared too. Yes. Ah, oh, he's getting more longbows out. All right, sure. Did we go for five TCs? Okay, I lost track of the longbows. Uh, let's get a forward TC going. Let's put it up right next to the gold though. Oh, he's all right. Yeah, yeah, he's got a lot of gold right now. And that's one dead villager. Don't tempt me, Ascalat. Don't tempt me. Oh no. I've been here this entire time. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Yo! He's trading? I don't even want anybody to explain this move to me. Well, 
Oh, this guy died anyways. Was a little bit too late for him. Does he already have blacksmith upgrades or what? No, does not. Three hundred and fifty for that. Three hundred fifty stone. That's a lot. That's a lot. A lot. We got it. We got it. Okay, he's good enough to focus those guys then. When did we get this guy over here? And over here. I don't have any waypoints over there. Those points on the map. So I'm a little bit confused as to how that came to be. Oh no, oh dude, no, 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 no. Oh, 
This is with this guy some failed forward keeps. I think we got probably right about enough villagers at this point in time. I just been out about be at enough villagers. Building it anywhere else now. Sure, if you can hold this now. Right, he's imp now, <laughs> and here are the traders as well. Dude, I've never seen English Imperial Age tra like. Actually, we, I have seen them before, but that's the first time I'm truly noticing them, truly paying attention to them. Actually, do we need to upgrade men at arms even? I think it's probably better for us to just upgrade these guys instead. Oh, how much do we need for that? 750 stone, that's so, so much. So again, we've killed a lot of villagers there. Let's get the improved Kashyyyk version instead. Just try to overrun with Kashyyyk's right? I think that's probably the plan here. Mm. Make it so that our cavalry does more torch damage as well. I don't have enough stone for these upgrades. For the improved versions. Could have gotten the relics as well, that would have helped me at this point in time a lot. I'll just do it now. Wait, no, my number one was a market actually. That was actually the thing I wanted to build. He hasn't cleaned that up at all yet. And here we're getting this upgrade. Very nice 150 economy. This one as well. Yeah, pretty good food income. Considering it's Mongols. If I just had the last upgrade here. And would be really good food income, like insanely, insanely good food income. Alright, new Khan rises. We're done over there now. Didn't good damage there. Next up. Oh, can we. Ah, it's so much stone though. I really want the other improved upgrade first here. I really want this one. My Uvu is uh, gone, so I need to make another one. I 
Just a little bit more. Got it. I sent my scholars out yet? Oh, I think I forgot to even make them. And that's that upgrade here. Fair enough. Should just be all about damaging him. I think his farm economy is mostly set up over there. got enough now to go for these upgrades. Oh my god, I cancelled that upgrade. I still have the normal improved bounty version. No, get that down, get that down, get that down. Thank you. some resources up. Thank you for the sub, man. Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. We have over here. I just get Hex Mongolica. Might as well. Also a spot where he's got his Berkshire. I might need to be a little bit careful here with just going mass. Cavalry. Can you guys hear that helicopter? At. I can't hear the helicopter. Lose some builds there now. Oh no, you don't really want to stone wall, right? Law underscore and underscore order, FBI underscore open underscore up, whip crack, you will. That's a lot of underscores. Oh, <laughs> 
A lot of stone out of that one, actually, of those raids. Like a lot, a lot of stone. It's still a pretty bad trade over there. It's fun away again. I think now is probably the point in time where we're just gonna want to. Get a lot of wood. Yeah, I can't move them. Oh yeah, these upgrades are going to be really strong. Let's get rid of some more builds. Some more builds over there, just because I think I'm getting... Yeah, I'm at the point where... I really need to kill some of the um, sheep for more to be able to spawn. He's got a big army, which means that he's not got a lot of villagers remaining at this point in time. Wait. Are they not getting bonus damage or am I missing an upgrade there? I am missing an upgrade. I'm missing chem chemistry. Let's get this upgrade in as well. Hello oh. there. Uvu's depleted. There's not really any more remaining stone on the map. Should get the sickening aura upgrade. Oh, misclick, misclick, misclick. Where's the market even on this map? My water sprinkler turned on PSPSTSTSTSTS. Oh, it's over there in that corner. S-T-S-T-S-T-S-T-S-T-S-T-S-T-S-T-S-T-S-T-S-T-S-T-S-T-S-T-S-T-S-T-S-T-S-T-S-T-S-T-S-T-S-T-S-T-S-T-S-T-
let's get rid of some of our villagers over here. It's nice also that we're able to use all of our stone for additional ramps. These are getting a little bit too close to the plant. Oh, I didn't get this at all, actually, yet. No wonder, I was thinking why am I doing so little torch damage with my cavalry. This guy's a fighter. Is the relic still? That's an interesting one, English trade. We made a lot of villagers in this game. This kills uh, kind of like Swabia wipes. It's not often that you see Mongols with much more uh, food than English. The end game statistics. The double ram actually is like ever since it's made cheaper as well. Like only spending two hundred stone on additional ram, and you're just getting two hundred forty there the entire time. It's not bad actually. It's very much not bad. Just gives you this nice little stone sink where you can put all your stone into, and still like get siege out of it. Time to play Byzantines and race Elo before they get nerfed. Uh, I don't think Byzantines are that crazily overpowered right now. They're a decent 1 TC Sif now, which granted there are many. Trump, think we need a China game. Uh, you guys want the Trump TTS? Oh, uh, let's see. Trump, 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 Trump. Wow, 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 it's very nice. Yeah, this one, you can, boy, you can look at the uh, guide in the, in the description. This one does have a lot of them. And I got Tanji as well, with an extension that you can use as well. If I could just uh, reload the app, because apparently I had a timeout there. It will enable all. Let's reload the overlay. There we go. Now we've got all of them. And I'm gonna do it again. Okay ish. Ah. 
I like the um, the Tangier one. The Tangier ones are quite nice. Trump, think we need a China game. Huh? Why did that one not work? Huh? It's weird. I... Hmm. IDK, it's working for me, Kappa. Let's see what else I want to check out. Uh, what else can I can I add? Let's see, let's see. You think the Bison teams are fine even after that match versus the Olina show where you both win two TC first cast and you have four relics and you still have twice the army by minute 20. Um, the thing was I attacked him before the relics paid off and he invested like 500 resources into getting the relics. So he invested a lot into getting the relics. They haven't paid off for him yet at all. And we attacked him at that time before they put, um, were able to pay off. He also didn't have any siege there. We're going to add an interaction for you guys. The first of the zebra. Oh, poor guy, man. But he was conqueror every time. Ah, one in the wrong direction. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Hauling, hauling around. Thank you for the sub, my man. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. I feel like Byzantines is sort of a little bit in many ways like like a hybrid of English and HRE. Where they can be quite good if they manage to pull off what they want to do. But they're not that great when they can't. For example, when you're able to deny HRE relics. It's kind of like the same situation there if you deny Byzantine berries or relics as well. Let's 
So I don't think Byzantines is like a, a broken, no calendar, like civilization. They also struggle with um, putting up aggression in the feudal age when it comes to like uh, when they play with the fast castle age timing. They don't really have any tools when it comes to dealing with um, castle age units. One still in feudal. Level one cistern. It's not 15%, it's 10%. So it's 5% uh, less than golden age tier two. Ah, uh, tier one even. And they don't have good cavalry. They get cataphracts, which aren't really, aren't really great. Some have to work for their gathering buffs. Are you saying that to Byzantines who, in order to have uh, unlock their full um, gather bonuses, have to spend like what is it, one thousand stone, and then even then it's only in like certain areas of the map, and you can destroy that as well. Like, this cistern has 1500 health, that's like two houses, you can burn that down relatively easily. Don't think there's a need to make Byzantines seem like this overly broken civilization. It doesn't feel like they are that broken. It might be in a spot at the moment where people don't really know how to deal with them yet. But they're not broken. Military ring opener for him. So he's gonna go military wing into 2TC most likely. Let's look around in space again. See if we see maybe like a stable follow up play from him. I mean, it's not even like a sip where it's like even if you don't deny berries, like you're you're just dead. That, that's not the case at all. Ναι. 
Right, so he's on his own 2TC now. Really? Managed to get a pick off there. That's annoying. Uh, unfortunate. Uh, wait, did I? No, this should be four tiles. This should be fine. No, it's not fine. I fucked that one up. We could camel riders here. This one I want to move forward. Starting to be a little bit annoying there. Wait, is he? Okay. We're getting close to being able to age up. Strelbo, flat, equilla. 
Oh, come on, let's click. He's just full on pumping units up right now. Hello, please build that farm over there. Thank you. He's just pumping up more and more units. Leg spike there. Sure, I don't need this one. Let's get plus two damage instead. Oh, really? Come on, Wolf. Lose focus. There we go. Oh, my God. He's trying to age nose well behind this. Or we can catch him there then. Πάντες, προσοχή, ωραία εργασία, γεωργία. Έτοιμοι, οι σκελέτες, χωριάτες. 
Ο ακροβολισμό για τον εχθρό! Κάτω! Ωραία τη αποχωρήσεω! Αμή, τι Πάντε, ακούσετε! Αμή, τι θέλει η εργασία! Δώσ' μου την απράξη! Πάντε, ακούσετε! Τι θέλει να πράξει! Να κτίσω αυτό σύντομα! Εσύ! Να είναι χάρη! Oh, really? He's just running around. And my army is immobile. This is very mobile. Kind of sucks. Like, this is one of the issues, right? Like, I don't have fast units. All my units are slow. So I can't catch up. Why did that never get put in? Τι θέλεις Ο δρόμος μου σαφής έστει Πάντα στην διαταγή σου θα ακούω Ακοντιστές Πρώτα αριστερός που σαν βρε Πάντα σ' ακούσετε Σου χτίζω αυτό Η διαταγή σου Τι θέλεις να σ' ακούω Κατά το επόμεθα Ακοντιστές Ετοιμάς Ακόντια Προχωρήσατε Ανδρύμου το φράτετε Τι θέλεις, το πιέο ευθύς. Ανδρία κοντιστές. Έτοιμοι. Αμή, τι θέλει η εργασία. Ακοντιστ, ψήν μη. Πράτε. Τούτο πράτετε. Τούτο πράτετε. Τι πακούω. Έτοιμος ναι. Ναι. Τούτο εκτελώ. Ακοντιστές. Ανδρία κοντιστές. Έτσι. Τι θέλεις. It's making horsemen. I'm making just a couple of them at night here. You would think that he wouldn't be going horsemen. I'm just gonna finish the game then. Oh, 
It was quite annoying, he was really good with the archers just running around there in the base the entire time. He played it well. To the point where he suddenly started making even more horsemen, like he never made ghoulams here. Why would you make Ghoulams when you get the better unit available to spam, which counters anything melee that only H3 and OTD should get? Ah, uh, Kiknello, you gotta take a breather here. Sorry, man, but you gotta, you gotta take a breather. You're not thinking rationally here. <laughs> An eight minute ad break? Huh? What the fuck, man? Twitch is crazy sometimes. Ugh, oh, kill Johnny. Kill Johnny in it. Oh, Delhi. Oh, Delhi. Oh, bother. Both scouting each other. So, wait, how did I not get that sheep there? He's finding sheep over there. Any sheep over here? Anything? Come on, I must I should I must find at least like one more double pack of sheep before I can go somewhere else. It's all the way here. It's only one? It's not that I don't like him, he was just being a little bit too obnoxious, like he talked himself into uh, kind of a little hissy fit there. That's fine for the streamer, but not for some dude in chat.
Uh, come on, move, 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 move. Uh, I gotta... No, 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 no. Let's see. Actually, do I get enough for an upgrade? No, we don't. We're just gonna straight up. One up there. Is this matchup Delhi favored? Yes. Historically, Delhi favored by quite a lot. How can you kill men at arms line units in feudal age? Gazi Raiders, they do bonus damage against armored units, even in feudal age. You also have more health. So overall they do quite well there. He's gonna find one sheep over there, but it'll be fine if I find one more over here, which I don't. Oh, one more over here. Oh, come on. Get that out. Go. Oh my god, I pulled the villagers that I had on food. I pulled the villagers that I had on food, really. I didn't realize that. I was you know, I'm steering. I'm steering. No, come on! Hit, 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 hit! Yes, okay. Nice, we got the kill. Should be able to get that one back in safely. Safely. And now he can just heal up again. Eat 
each will a delta. Yaru to work, each a work. Look at your each liver to hear it. You, Tulkes, set it down. Who's it to set it? Four. Yes, sir. Four. 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 To serve and death to serve. Yeah, yeah. And you work at each is yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thine has this. Good day is number done. And are to hear it. Redundant, so ahead. Obedience is on it. All right, we denied one of the sacred sites, which is pretty nice. Don't think we can deny it now, though. On the second attempt. Gonna at the very least you kept one of these sides here from the looks of it. Oh really? Okay. Yes, sir. 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 Y
Let's try and decap one more time. He's trying to up. Yep, he's up. He is up, he's up, he's up. He's got all the relics behind all this move. But we didn't lose a lot. Or at least we could have lost a lot more in that one. Not engagement. I think that's a relic over there. I'll just see no reason for him to go over there. See him mixing in crossbows. He's got his own knights over there. Dynastis! 
Something to share. One fair option each do. Obedience is it go to ahead. Suze to serve the creed of force. Go is the boost. May I finish then? What need is they undone? Yet to the resurface. Yard away. What will thou? It's so a hessa aliat. Yard away for blood on bar. What will it ever be? Experiment. We have a gear account. Yard away for blood on bar. Yeah, that's the slot boy. Yeah, he's going for an all-in. He is so going for an all-in. Question is going to be if he can pull it off. Got to go for a push with siege, I think. He's going for a push of siege instead, though. Oops, he is. Hello? Why am I not winning this? Okay. Now he has the anti siege. He has, he has the anti siege. Probably like I should have won that. in front of my base as well so he knows about my move out there
Oh, move, 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 move. I've got so many resources right now. I kind of fucked up. Gotta get the key cap in, the D cap in, the D cap in. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 
Where'd my sprinkles go? Oh my god, they positioned it to the back. Because of the normal AI, it moves it into the back. I can't, dude, I can't. military is all over the place. Mass siege, mass, mass, mass siege. just can't get past that siege backline. I just can't get past it. I don't know, nothing I make is working. I'm spamming out sprinkled after sprinkled after sprinkled. Uh, I, nothing I make is working, man. Hello? Fight! Fight! I A moved three times! Three times and my units just wouldn't react. Issue is that at this point in time, he's probably boomed up more than I am on keeps. It's just mass crossbows and siege, and I can't get past it. Killing on my houses now. Dude, the house killing actually hurts me so much right now. I'm popped. And I can't really afford remassing that. Like, 
Huh? He's max pop, dude. And it's just crossbows. It's all crossbows that I can't... Even with lightly armored units, I can't get past the crossbows. I can't get past the mangoes. Fucking siege, man. Every time it's just siege. Siege wins games. Siege. We're all just competing to see whoever can make more siege. I'm still pop cap, dude. I'm still pop cap, man. This is not fun. Not fun, not fun. Look at this. Goodbye, my Springles. Goodbye, my Springles. I. Like, he lost the game. He actually lost the unlosable matchup. I actually hate... He lost the unlosable matchup there. <laughs> I hate base game. What do you want me to do in this matchup? Like, he was literally just making mass mangonels. Mass mangonels all game. That is so boring, man. Fucking mangoes. I... <sighs> Siege is just so annoying. Can we just get rid of fucking Siege? Can we just get rid of Siege? Like, give mangonels friendly fire. I hate... Like, you're using mangonels. Mangonels... Okay. Let's go over it in theory. What are mangonels supposed to do? Mangonels are supposed to counter mass archers. Mass archers, mass crossbow, just mass range units. That's what mangonels are supposed to do. What do mangonels do instead? They fuck up everything. They fuck up cavalry, they fuck up mass infantry, they fuck up ranged units, they fuck up buildings. Is that fair? Is that the way, is that the way it's supposed to be? And I can't focus down the mangonels with, uh, with like, military units that isn't Siege. Because... He just body blocks with 60 crossbows. And even though, even though, even though I make mass horsemen, even though I make mass spearmen, those units aren't heavily armored. Those units are lightly armored units. Crossbows are supposed to counter heavily armored units. Crossbows should not counter my units. The siege there should not counter my units. The horsemen should counter both of these. I lose. Crossbows are not too good. Then why does everybody make them? Why does everybody spam them? Why does everybody, literally everybody, spam them? Because they're broken. Because they don't counter just one type of unit, they counter every type of unit. But you would if you could, Wham. You would if you could. You made mass crossbows and you lost the game. Why? Because of Siege? Like, why can't we... Siege needs to do friendly fire. You cannot, you cannot, you shouldn't be able to just mass and body block. Your Siege should fuck up your units as well. Your Siege should fuck up your units as well. That would also get fixed, puppy. Like, if... The enemy front line engages and then the mangonels fire. They fuck up the front line as well. It is so simple. The thing is, what I don't understand, it is so incredibly, incredibly simple. We figured this out 25 
years ago. We figured it out 25 years ago. 25 years ago in Age of Empires 2 we figured it out. You make Siege, you make Mangonels, do friendly fire. It was figured out. How? How in the fourth iteration of the same series? Three years after release, can we not figure out this one simple, simple balance adjustment? It has been figured out before. Everybody knew what it was about. <laughs> Literally everybody knew how to balance it. And now we're here and the devs are just like clueless. It makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. No sense at all. Okay. Uh, playing against HRE, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be so much fun. 40% better eco. I just want fucking torches back against Siege with more range. Just get rid of body blocking. I'm not sure what they're doing over at Microsoft if they're just busy eating crayons all day. Like I swear, the people over at Microsoft World's Edge, Forgotten Empires, they're having a competition. Who can stuff the most crayons up their nostrils? I want to try something. No song, Fast Castle. Go for Alex. Actually, no song, Fast Castle tonight, maybe? Okay, four minutes for him. Okay. 
to see what he's doing though because currently we're also in like an all-in fuel age manner they're working on AU2 true man imagine releasing a new game and then being like oh nope we like the old one more let's go back to the old one whoopsies that down didn't work guess we'll try again with the old one See any military production buildings there yet? I'm sure we see some farms. This makes me think that uh, I think that he's also going for Fast Castle. How fucked up is this that there's a relic over there, most likely? Yeah, it's just Fast Castle for him. Shade,谢谢。谢谢。谢谢。谢谢。谢谢。谢谢。谢谢。谢谢。谢谢。谢谢。谢谢。谢谢。谢谢。谢谢。谢谢。谢谢。谢谢。谢谢。谢谢。
He's down right dropped on the head. Three relics are in there. Yay. Yay. HRE. Don't we all love it? Don't we all love HRE, guys? It's such a great sieve in Age of Empires 4. Great. Absolutely amazing. Wow. Wow. You <laughs> It's so bad. It's it's just so bad. Like you can't just look at the, you can't just look at this and be like, yeah, this is fine. You played two they must be hours actively, to die like actively this. Actively ignoring this at this point, and it, like it's actually, and he's walling up now behind this all, behind all of this, he's now walling up. It, it's actually active bad game design. They're actively ruining the game. <laughs> it's. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not funny. It's, it's just not funny, man. Like, I want to like this game, but I'm just not... I just can't, man. I just can't like this game. Like, it's actually trying its hardest to be fucking poison, man. Wow, 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 is a very nice. Oh, Springle emplacement, how nice. Epic, haha. Teehee, epic. XD. Nice gameplay. Hello. Ting 
He's got more knights than me as well. It's not out on any deer, he's just doing a full farm transition behind all of this because he's HRE and he's getting resources pumped up his asshole. Huh? Didn't I just send more? Why are my units disappearing but not his? Why? How am I losing that? How am I losing that? Please, please, game. He's just got so much more knights, man. He's got so much more gold. So many more resources. Because he's HRE. It's all just because he's HRE. Just a fucking win, sieve win from beginning until end. Just a sieve victory from beginning until fucking end, man. I hate this fucking game. Why is it balancing so difficult? And now he's adding in Landsknecht as well. He didn't have them earlier in. He's just adding them now because he can. He's getting all the upgrades. I couldn't afford them.
crazy. Age of Empires 4 makes me crazy. And now, look at the fun thing. Look at the fun thing. Look at the very fun thing. Look at the eco difference that you see here. So, not only, not only did my opponent do a full farm transition, a full farm transition behind all of that, didn't have to move out onto any resource album map at all, he also has more, has more units than me. He's also getting more relics. Like, look at that. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's, it's like 20 farms. He invested 1,500 resources into farms out there. And behind that, he had way less villagers than me as well. But he has a better eco because... Because! 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 <laughs> Because he's HRE! I... I can't do this anymore. I just can't. This fucking bullshit game. Why are these civs not nerfed? Why is Siege not nerfed? Why is HRE not nerfed? Why is it 40%? Why can't it be 30% and you upgrade it later to 40%? There's an upgrade that buffs it even further. Why? Just fucking why I... Uh, I don't want to play this anymore. I'm, I'm out, guys. I'm out. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, have a good one.